Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Hairun bin Hairun. I would like to present uh, my final discussion project. Uh, the title is uh, Managing of Facility Management Application in Private Final Initiative PFI Project for Teaching Hospital in Hospital Al Sultan Abdullah UITM. My supervisor is Surveyor Dr. Faridah Muhammad Halil. For the chapter one, I will recover the breakdown of the study, problem statement, research aim, or question and research objective, research scope and limitation, and research significance. Facility management is a play uh, important function in a smooth and efficient operation of the teaching hospital. Fiber uh, public private partnership PFI FM is more important as it involves the complex interplay between the public and uh, private sector. FM professional in the teaching hospital PFI project must pose a combination of the technical, operational, and the business skill to effectively manage the hospital physical asset, infrastructure, and facility. Regarding Mustafa 2004, mentioned that the integration of FM service in PFI project also presents a unique challenge. The private uh, sector must balance the, com the completing demand of the cost effectiveness and service quality while also meeting the specific need of the public sector client. The key problem statement uh, associated with the publicity management within the operational and maintenance phase of the private finance initiative PFI project for teaching hospital is the coordination and the management of the various parties involved in the project. According study by Dispate, Des, uh, Pain and Person 2012, the coordination uh, of the different parties such as the private sector provider, the public sector client, and the end user is a major challenge in PFI project, poor communication and coordination between that parties, and also the lack of communication and coordination between the facility management company, public sector organization, and the private company responsibility, responsibility, responsible of the PFI project can be lead, can be lead to confusing, misunderstanding, and delay of the project. Furthermore, PFI project often involve the long-term contract and it make it uh, difficult for organization to, uh, in terms of the budget and cost associated and the project over the long, long term as per Go and Chen 2018. Lastly, the management and maintenance of the facility is a major concern in PFI project. The complicated and comprehensive tasks uh, that require effective planning, coordination and management to ensure that the facility is safe, function and efficient. This is a study by the Chen and Huang 2015. The research aim uh, to ensure the utilization of the facility management application during the operational and maintenance phase of the PFI project in the teaching hospital. Then the objective for the research first to identify uh, the facility management current practice in teaching hospital in PFI project. Second, to examine uh, the challenging uh, in, in facility management current practice in teaching hospital. And the lastly, to recommend improvement uh, in the PF facility management practice in teaching hospital uh, in PFI project. The research question uh, first is the application of the facility management during the operation and maintenance phase. And second, what are the challenging in the operational and maintenance stage of the facility management to private uh, PFI project for the teacher hospital? And lastly, the best uh, facility management practice to be used in the PFI project in the teaching hospital. Regarding the task Takim uh, 2009, the PFI concept uh, in Malaysia involved the partnership between the public and uh, private sector, the government purchasing of the serving rather than the asset, and the delivery of project world life costs, and true and transparent procurement process that place the emphasis on value for the money rather than lower cost and the integration of the design, finance, and operation. Uh, for the research scope, uh, first, analyzing the best practice in PFM FM for the PFI project in the healthcare industry and their potential for implementation in teaching hospital. Second, evaluating of the current uh, FM 
practice and procedure in PFI project in teaching hospital and identifying the area of improvement. The limitation for, of the research, the first, the access uh, to confidential and priority information regarding the PFI project, the restriction uh, on exploring information on the implementation of the facility management contained in the concession agreement for the PFI project because the concession concession agreement is very uh, is considered the cons confidential between the government relation uh, top management of the university and uh, to others secondly hospital as you know the very busy place uh, make it difficult to access the facility rather to get the information constant activity in a high patient volume can make it challenging to schedule the interview observation and or data collection session research significant first the main point is a uh, use of uh, can provide the useful information into the challenge, challenge and opportunities uh, associated with the, this study uh, to identify the best practice for managing and maintaining healthcare uh, facility in PFI contact. This can uh, help to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the FM operation for this uh, facility leading to better uh, patient outcome and improve the service delivery. Regarding uh, Go and Chain 2008, research on FM practice in PFI project can also provide valuable information for others, uh, healthcare organization, government agency, and researcher who are inter interested in understanding of the challenge and opportunities uh, with the PFI in the healthcare sector. Overall, uh, FM practice in PFI project in teaching hospital can help to improve the management and maintenance for this facility, can inform uh, decision uh, related to the design, construction and operation in healthcare facility in the future. For the research methodology, this is uh, our research methodology. For the first, um, to achieve the objective uh, and goal for this study, uh, the qualitative research approach is used. First, uh, second, uh, the study sample was drawn from the Hospital al Sultan Allah uh, UITM as a teaching hospital in PFI project. Data uh, collection involved in the data collection process, primary data and the secondary data. I divide to primary and secondary data. The primary data from interview and the site observation for the secondary data come from the journal and website for uh, to, to collect the data. The data analysis involves uh, evaluating, grouping, compiling, and rearrange the information collected during the interview session. And lastly, the data was processed and analyzed using the Atlas TI uh, 9.0 software to generate the networking for each uh, topic. Okay, uh, this was the chapter three data analysis and finding and discussion. For objective one, uh, data analysis finding uh, the, for the knowledge and understanding on the current practice. The largest group, 100% uh, uh, for the, all the respondent R1 uh, until R6, mentioned that the importance of CHFM in the PA in F facility management uh, PFI project for teaching hospital. 93% uh, of respondents mentioned the guideline of FM PFI project for the teaching hospital, which is SSIP, and the monthly payment to the concessionaire company, maintenance charges, ability maintenance charges, maintenance reserve fund, MRF, uh, and the lastly, 67% uh, respondents mentioned about the CAMS, CAM, and FMS, Facility Management Services. You can see the on the table. Okay, the 50% respondent mentioned the guideline uh, will be used uh, in the TR TRPI. 30% mentioned about the contingency plan and IAQ, which is uh, important to the healthcare building. And lastly, 70% respondent mentioned about the LCC uh, life cycle cost in the PFI project. Regarding the American Society uh, and Healthcare Engineering CHM Overview 2021, Certified uh, Healthcare Facility Manager CHM is uh, important uh, for the healthcare facilities, including the teaching hospital. Having CHM, uh, CHFM in PFI 
uh, important because to ensure that the individual may, can may manage the facility has the necessary skill and the knowledge to operate the facility effectively and efficiently. The CFM design uh, does uh, uh, a com commitment, a professional development and a high level competency healthcare facility management. For the objective, uh, for the objective one also, we uh, we check for the guideline use. Uh, the largest uh, ninety three percent respondent uh, mentioned that uh, they use the hospital in specific implementation plan HSIP in the maintenance maintenance manage, uh, management guideline for the teaching hospital in Hospital Al Sultan Abdullah Hospital UITM. And then, moreover, uh, fifty percent respondent mentioned the technical requirement and performance indicator TRPI, uh, master agreement procedure MAP, hospital plan preventive maintenance HPPM checklist and schedule, and the ECAM as a guideline that they use for the healthcare building in the teaching hospital. Whereas thirty uh, percent respondent mentioned that used to. Uh, okay, regarding for discussion, uh, that uh, the guideline they use uh, for the teaching hospital, they use the hospital specific implementation plan, HSIP, in order to the maintain and operational of the teaching hospital, al Sultan al Allah. It's a, this is a comprehensive guideline for the teaching hospital based on the uh, standard practice in maintaining and operational time to time. The MOHE and uh, MOH uh, to look through, see that this guideline and the policy uh, to implementation of the teaching hospital in a PFI project as a world to save on the cost and operation uh, of the op operating uh, teaching hospital. For the objective one, uh, FM teaching hospital, also that mentioned 100% uh, uh, group respondent uh, mentioned uh, they use the computerized asset management system CAM uh, that will be help organization optimize uh, of the physical asset uh, and improve the efficiency of their asset management process moreover 100% also respondent mentioned that uh, teach FM facility management teach hospital lack of the energy management services among uh, facility management of the teaching hospital. CAM actually uh, is uh, to keep the track of the asset location and maintenance schedule and other important detail. It can also help organization to track the cost of their asset and generate report for the uh, budgeting and the decision making purpose regarding uh, SRS uh, Prabhu and Rajendran 2016. A camp is mentioned that to improve the efficiency and effectiveness uh, of the asset management process by automatic, automating tasks such as the tracking and maintenance schedule, monitoring asset utilization, and then and identifying potential issue before they come a problem. Uh, in terms of the lack of uh, energy management services uh, in the facility management in the hospital, do we do know? No have expertise or competent person to handle in term of energy in term of energy saving management this is a happen energy management service in facility management involve the systematic control and optimization of the energy use uh, consumption of the facility regarding the ms rana mfs uh, ma risk v 2015 mentioned including implementation energy and efficient technology, monitoring energy use, identifying auto opportunities of for energy conversation and developing implementing uh, energy management plan. For the objective two, uh, data analysis challenge, challenges uh, in facility management in PFI project for the teaching hospital. 100% uh, respondent mentioned that uh, teaching hospital is lack uh, for facility management is lack of energy management, which is the consistent uh, this uh, data from the objective one. Uh, Hundred percent uh, respondent mentioned. Then sixty seven percent they understood that uh, cannot change the function of the space, pool of communication and coordination, and don't have the 
uh, don't have the floor plan uh, as a as built drawing as a as built drawing okay for discussion uh, of six respondent uh, agree that the major challenge uh, challenges uh, for the facility management in the teaching hospital is lack of energy management services in hospital in concern uh, the challenge just of the lack of energy management, this a matter also mentioned by MRKA uh, Guna Gurun Wardena 2016. That is clear without the proper manage energy management, a facility may be used more energy than necessary, leading the higher energy bill. Whereas the the teams are poor of communication and coordination, which is they also uh, mentioned in the pro, uh, problem statement. In facility management, which align with the mention by C. J. Penn 2008, poor communication and coordination can be, uh, be a challenge in facility management because they can lead in an uh, inefficient process, misunderstanding and conflict. For the objective two, also uh, cost of the challenging, uh, respondent hundred percent mentioned that not proper handover document and also investing in technology. This is a cost of uh, uh, challenges, challenging, okay, which is a uh, hundred percent is mentioned. Okay, uh, sixty percent uh, respondent mentioned the lack of awareness and uh, knowledge. Okay, the discussion, the major uh, of the respondent agree that. Uh, challenges in the facility management practice in teaching hospital is due to not proper handover document to engineering team. Uh, this is a mention of PA Pamakin and uh, Fasakin 2008. Proper handover document are yeah, uh, important in facility management because they provide the engineering team with the necessary information to effectively maintain and operate the facility. Uh, regarding the SMA Ravi 2009, uh, mentioned also in investing in technology can help to improve the energy, uh, improve efficiency and productivity in facility management by automatic tasks, streamline process and providing the real-time data and information. To improve communication and collaboration among the team members, as well as to monitor and control various aspects, of the facility operation. For the objective three, uh, recommendation of for improvement, uh, sixty-seven percent uh, mentioned that encourage encouraging uh, cooperation and co communication, and also the clear and detailed service level of agreement. A sixty-seven percent mentioned about this. Okay, SIMA uh, that mentioned the effective uh, completion of the PFI project is vir virtual to encourage cooperation and communication between the public and private sector uh, participants. Effective communication and cooperation may, may assist uh, guarantee that both parties are working toward the same objective and can uh, prevent misunderstanding and conflict. The overall, uh, to be concluded that the finding from the interview in line with uh, the stated in the literature review, that FM uh, practice in teaching hospital in PFI project to developing clear and detailed service level of agreement is important in PFI project to ensure that facility management can deliver the service or facility as agreed in the contract that the public sector in getting value for money and submission document to engineering team for maintenance must be followed the guideline and SOP of mis, um, submission document should be prepared accordingly. This is a side observation also uh, we uh, I proceed in the hospital Sultan Abdullah For the last uh, recommendation, also here we have the four uh, recommendations. The first, encouraging cooperation and communication. And the second, regularly monitoring and reporting on the performance. And then thirdly, clear and detailed service level of agreement. And then lastly, proper flow of the submission. This is a recommendation that I mentioned in the our thesis uh, topic. 
Okay, in conclusion, um, it is hoped that through this study, it also can create uh, awareness in all the level of the stakeholder in facility management in teaching hospital PFI project on the importance of overcoming the challenging that they face by facility management team in the teaching hospital PFI project. Uh, that we, we recommend that solution and uh, such uh, that is uh, suggested in the in this study. Effective facility management in the teaching hospital uh, PFI project require a combination of the cooperation and communication among stakeholders, clear and detailed service level agreement, SLA, regular monitoring and reporting of performance, flow, flow, proper flow of the submission document, such as uh, aspect drawing, testing and combination report, regular evaluate and regular evaluating and updating the contract to ensure smooth operation and timely maintain uh, budget control and fostering positive relation among stakeholders. Additionally, it is important uh, to always ensure compliance with the legal and regul regulatory requirement to minimize the risk and maintain the cost effective in day-to-day -day, in day-to-day -day operation. So thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.